Hello, good afternoon. This is David Stutter talking to you, and today I'm going to show you how to use my uh, Excalibur uh, trend indicator uh, using a 14 period moving average, okay, for a point of entry, okay. So uh, I just posted a signal right here, CAD CHF, my Telegram signal group, okay, and it's a buy, all right. So now what we want to do here is use a 30 minute chart, all right. If I go to a one hour chart, I don't, well, there's, a, there's an error there as well. There wasn't there earlier, but anyhow, I use a 30 minute chart, okay? And I wait another candle or two to see if the indicator doesn't repaint, all right? And if it starts going in the direction of the arrow, then I know I'm good, all right? So if we zoom in a little bit here and go to the end here, we see that this uh, arrow came in two candles ago, okay? And has not repainted, all right? And it's already showing some blue candles here. I mean, it's getting ready to go into an uptrend, okay? Now, this is not 100% guarantee. It could just drop and shoot down further, but as of right now, it looks like it's definitely gonna be going up. So, what I like to do, and this is one of the different techniques that you can employ, but I want you to try this at least and see this, how this works for you. But go here to uh, move an average, okay? And just choose the default 14 period simple MA very easy right uh, you can change the color if you want oh, I'm going to change it probably dark blue and increase the font size a little just so you can see this a little bit better okay and what I'm looking for is the price to cross above this uh, moving average alright if we look in the past here like this for example this arrow here if you wait until the price crosses the 14 period moving average and then buy and then close it let's draw a vertical line right here and then we switch to a five minute chart if we place that trade here okay and then close it on the next arrow, next red arrow, on, a, on using a five minute chart, we'd have about 86 pips. But if I switch to a 15 minute chart, okay, we see the arrow way up here. So, and even the 30 minute chart, it's the same. So what you can do is wait for this to cross, keep it on a 30 minute chart, and then close it, okay? And that's pretty much it. Very, very easy. Um, like I said, this is one of the many different strategies I employ, but this also works very, very well. If you wait for it to cross the 14 period moving average, you know for sure you're gonna have a change in trend, okay? And like for example here with this one down arrow, if you wait for it to cross below the 14 period moving average, and then you close it on the opposite, uh, arrow you can drop down to like a 15 minute chart if you drop down here you see it formed a up arrow here okay so that's what we're looking for is another level of support or opposite arrow in which you can uh, close the trade and collect some pips all right your my goal with this is to open and close a trade the same day all right so if you, if I look here, well, let me zoom in a little bit. If I place a trade here, and this may not be exact, but actually a little bit over, on this candle here, when it crosses this line, okay? And then I'm gonna draw another ver vertical line uh, down here. So this is say, it went down up and then it came down and finally formed a blue arrow here. Well, we're looking at on the uh, 18th of March, it opened at 9.45 in the morning and closed on the 18th of March at 8.30 p.m. All right, so it was open for, you know, for about 12 hour period, but still you did not incur any swap fees with this, okay? So that's kind of my plan. And you know, the pip amount is gonna vary, but if you go from here, all the way down to here, you're looking at 286 pips, which is not bad for one single trade, okay? 
And then you can just do that time and time again, okay? Now this one here opened on the 18th. Well, it might open on the 19th. Let me delete these uh, vertical lines. But if you enter a trade here, which is still on the 18th, and then close it over here on the next afternoon on the 19th, you're still looking at about a 12 hour window. So even on a 15 minute or even a 30 minute chart, you're still looking at about uh, you know 12, possibly 24 hours uh, window of opportunity. Okay, so if you use a five minute chart, you know the trades are going to be much shorter, and you're not going to get as much pips, but you can get in and out of the trade much faster. Okay, so you can test this using you know different strategies, different time frames. And I encourage you to try different time frames to kind of see what works best for you. There is no perfect one strategy that's going to work every, in every given situation. But with this 14 period moving average, um, you know, it, it works very, very well. As long as you use a 30 minute or even a one hour chart and wait for the, the price to cross, all right, until you get a change in trend. I like the 30 minute chart, it's pretty robust and you get in and out of trading the same day, okay? Following the strategy, all right? So anyhow, uh, let me know if you have any questions or comments. Uh, there's a link below in the description of this video from my personal Facebook account. I ask that you uh, please contact me there. And also, if you have not joined my Telegram signal group, uh, please do that as well. There's a link in the description of this video for that. And uh, let me know if you have any questions or comments, and I thank you and have a wonderful day.